back to my YouTube channel. So this video we will discuss about home theatres. So home theatres are the ultimate expression for uh, what a theatre setup can offer you the experience of a theatre at your home. So since the advent of uh, sound bars uh, that are more cheaper and and there is too much competition in that market. A lot of home theatre systems just disappeared away from the market, especially the 5.1 channel home theatres because the 5.1 channel, channel is the proper setup to create recreate the theatre experience at home. So many of the brands moved away to uh, complete home theatre uh, sound bars or sound bars based 5.1 uh, theatre system. So uh, some of the uh, good decent sounding ones start from around 20,000 to all the way up to 2 lakhs and also. So many of the 5.1 systems uh, ended up in a much much higher range such as 1.5 to 2 lakhs and above and that too in some brands like Denon, Onkyo and Yamaha. Uh, but there is one particular home data system that will offer you still some hope and that is this Yamaha YHT1840 home data system. So this uh, to choose a home data system it is a very complex task because you need to choose the center speaker, the surround speakers, what kind of subwoofer you want, what type of AV receiver you want. So people who are not that into audio systems, who are not that of an audiophile, can go for something called a HDIP. So HDIP is something called home theater in a box. So it will offer you all the setup. So pre-chose uh, subwoofers, uh, speakers and the AV receiver including some max basic access in, into the box so that will make your decision easier installation easier and all so at a uh, good budget price range so you we have this uh, home data system which is yht1840 so this has a receiver which has a model number of htr2071 and this is one excellent home theater so so if you rate this against sound bars this will easily cross the sound bars which are at least two three four segments higher than compared to this one i mean the level of audio quality and the level of control over the audio that this thing offers there is no match in the family of a sound bars so nothing nothing else in the sound bars will offer you that level of control and that level of quality in the sound so if we look at uh, look into the uh, feature, feature sets that this offers so there are quite a large set of features that i have to I have to write them down. So this thing is a HTR2071. It offers around 100 to 135 channel of uh, sound per channel, and it has six ohms of uh, resistance, and it has uh, four HDMI in and one HDMI out, which supports uh, ARC. So there's no need of eARC for this one since this is not a 7.1 channel, and it also uh, supports. Uh, 4K, 60P and HDR pass through. So you can connect maybe your console, say your set top box or your DVD player and it can pass through the video to the, your, your television. And it has a 5.1 speaker package along with a passive sub subwoofer. This is not an active subwoofer. And this thing has something called Cinema DSP digital technology. What it does is when you watch movies which are pre-mixed in 5.1 surround sound so that cinema dsp works to divide these ch channels properly and it also works for movies that are only two channel even for youtube videos that are stereo recorded the system automatically analyzes the sound and distributes the sound to all the surround speakers accordingly and it also supports hdmi cec it means one single cable you can control the volume of both the uh, av receiver and your television uh, both power on and off and volume and it has some one touch scenes like bluetooth tv cd radio so based on that it will also switch the input uh, and also the sound settings it also has something called extra bus uh, which is uh, on the remote and enhancer and other such features in the remote and top of all it uh, the amplifiers used in this one are bar brown so people who are not sure of Burr Brown, so they are the top of the line amplifiers. Uh, they are made by Texas Instruments. So there are very very few brands that will offer you Burr Brown amplifiers at this price range. And to top it off, Yamaha is a brand. I mean you, you might know Yamaha motorbikes, engines and all. But Yamaha is a world leader when it comes to audio instruments. It should be musical instruments, home theatres and they are masters in tuning and designing sound so you, you must have listened to the lexus lfa sports car if not 
uh, this is how it sounds. was tuned by Yamaha so that gives you a pretty much idea that they know what to do and they're top of the line in what field they are so coming to the uh, basic design part you know this is the AV receiver this controls uh, all the uh, systems like uh, it has uh, a center speaker uh, this one is this uh, the center speaker and it has uh, two surround speakers on the front and two surround speakers at the rear and it has a passive subwoofer so this thing is like very bulky there is a lot of heft to it and uh, the front panel is glass so it looks good and the bottom panel is uh, a fake brushed metal finished plastic and rest of the unit is actually encased in uh, metal and the top portion of it uh, it, it is an open uh, vent and there are vents on the side also so it has a passive heat sink, heat sink not an active heat sink to dissipate heat the amplifiers heat up quite a bit so it has a passive heat sinks for it the speakers are totally plastic the front mesh of the speakers is actually just a cloth so these are not metal grill so you have to be careful you, you tear them that's it so they, they'll still work there's no issue but the look of it will be spoiled so that's it and within the package you also have this uh, anti skid pads and so which will fix your speakers and you will have an uh, FM antenna so this can be used for uh, FM also and that's it that is what you get and you get a manual which is like you said just throw it out there is literally nothing written in that uh, manual I don't know what is the purpose of the manual because you, if, you, if you look at this remote look at the amounts of amount of buttons this remote has and none of these are explained on the uh, manual so I, I don't know what is the uh, reason behind doing that and the menu system is like like my god that's crazily complex I mean there are so many options in the menu and so many sound settings yeah so coming to how does it perform so guys so, so if you want that real home theater experience at your home so you, you need the proper setup, you bought a very good TV and you want to something that supplements that don't buy a sound bar, buy this one okay there is nothing in that price range that will give you the level of uh, immersion in the audio quality that this gives the, the vocals are like crystal clear you know the instruments, the separation of the instruments and the way it channels sound to different surround speakers you will start listening to things that you have never heard in those particular songs or movies before I mean if you, if you watch movies like you know Godzilla vs Kong when there are missiles firing from your back you know you'll, you'll feel that thump in your room uh, so it is just surreal experience I even tried the Sony home theater which is a 5.1 system a soundbar based one which has wireless speakers and it's no way near to what this thing offers but the only thing is this is a wired system this is not a wireless uh, uh, rear surround speaker system so i'll play you some sound samples now so but try to understand that uh, i'll try to do some justice but there is no way i can give you the exact uh, replica of how does it sound because it depends on what speakers you are listening and microphone that i am using to capture the sound but it should give you an idea there about the clarity of the uh, the instrument here uh, so yeah, let's listen to some samples.
coming to the positives of this one sound guys the sound quality the uh, level of options it gives you know that is just unbeatable you know the sound quality is just mesmerizing so see if uh, the uh, user interface is a little complicated apart from sound system the sound quality and all there are not many pros for any sort of music system it has to do one basic function that is give you excellent sound quality that's it everything else is just secondary and supplementary that's it if it gives you very good sound quality and connectivity that's more than enough uh coming to negatives of it uh, yeah this is where it gets a little tricky so first thing if you start using this uh, sound system right out of the box the sound quality will be rubbish utterly rubbish you'll be literally disappointed i mean why i sort of wasted my money because there are a lot of uh, options for the audio system a lot of tuning that has to, one has to do so it, it is literally literally a nightmare so i had to google a lot of stuff because the user manual says nothing nothing about uh, any of the controls settings or uh, controls within it so i had to google a lot of stuff to uh, understand what stuff is what and figure it out myself try to play with a lot of settings i'll try to add another video of the settings for the um, the perfect settings for the yamaha system because this system even has a virtual cinema front so if you want to use this, all the speakers on the front itself you can still use it and uh, second negative thing is uh, the system is very bulky in height i mean they could have reduced the height a little bit uh, would have been more compact third thing is uh, service the yamaha service is non existent so there are no uh, uh, service centers in hyderabad i mean there are do they do are some service centers but a lot of them handle sales also so unless you buy that system from them they're not they're not going to support you so that is a gray area i mean the quality is good but you never know what will happen right so i mean you will have to take a bit of gamble there i mean this thing has like one year warranty so there's a little bit of uh, that gamble there that yeah we'll have to <laughs> live with that gamble okay so apart from that see the top vents are completely open you know they left that uh, open because to dissipate heat this, this is a passive heat sink so the problem is there is a lot of dust that is accumulated inside and it is impossible to clean and you'll have to open the system entirely and there are lot of wires exposed so i'm sort of afraid what if some water droplet goes inside i mean they must have given an active uh, uh, cooling system i know i am how much i thought that giving a cooling fan will generate noise and sound that will disturb the cinema watching mode it is understood but uh, it is very difficult to live with so i had to use a laptop cooler on top of it so to use it as both shield for the dust and also to use it as a active heat sink it doesn't get uh, that hot but uh, yeah just a little bit of uh, safety doesn't hurt right and the next monster in the negatives for this one is installation my god that is extremely difficult there is a two pair speaker cable inside the box but that will not be enough okay you need to buy a, a separate cable the speaker given that the, the m has given is of excellent quality you know it is very sleek and in white in color but if you want to try to buy the same type of uh, wire outside it is not available so i bought an amazon basics cable of the internet uh, which is much bulkier in size and the installation is might nightmare guys it is nightmare because none of them are banana plugs so you need to press the switch uh, insert the wire and close it and the center speaker has a separate setting which is a screw type installation it is a very 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 tedious process and complex installation because the installation alone took me around uh, one and a half to two days see so if you don't have the wiring already inside your uh, uh, fall ceiling so you will have exposed wires traveling from the front of the system all the way to the back i mean yamaha should have given an option of throwing a wireless rear speakers at least but it is okay with that but the kind of amount you are spending you, you just can't uh, wish for everything right so this system costed me around 28000 uh, so the price is now at 31000 again due to the chip shortage and all so the price keeps fluctuating from 28 to 31000 so if you ca if you can buy this for like 28000 rupees close your eyes go ahead and buy it that's it there is nothing else best 
other than this in the market. So yeah, so this is my review for uh, the CM Hawaii HD 184G sound system. So if you have liked this video, please uh, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in below. So I'll definitely answer you. Thank you so much.